We've had a week to play with Black Ops 6. Let's talk about the good, the bad, and the things that I personally would like to see change as soon as possible. First things first, the title of this video is something along the lines of why is Call of Duty Black Ops 6 so bad? It's just a YouTube title. It can't hurt you. It got you into the video so we could have this discussion. It's okay. Secondly, the gameplay in the background is just there to watch. It's not super important, but it is a decent gameplay. Third, if at any point during this video, I say something you heavily agree with or disagree with, the comment section is down below. Have at it we can have a discussion just please be constructive and or nice with your comments because one i don't have time for head ass and two if you go too far off the deep end youtube just deletes your comment anyway and i honestly never see it fourth also a disclaimer i haven't looked at any of the roadmap material for black ops 6 so i don't know what's coming what isn't coming or what the plan for the game is i'm just kind of going off of what i feel in my heart and i may be forgetting something but number five and probably the most important thing to take into account this is just my opinion if you disagree with it that's okay you don't have to fight me we can have different opinions and still be friends with that said let's start off with the bad and when i say bad i mean let's start off with the obviously and overwhelmingly bad that people will not stop talking about just to get it out of the way so i at least acknowledged it first and foremost the maps they're bad i agree they're absolutely terrible but at the same time let me play devil's advocate i did a little bit of basic math i went through the games between call of duty 4 and call of duty vanguard because after vanguard that's when we heavily got into remake city and based on my base basic math there have been 413 maps between call of duty 4 which is when we started to have the three lane map formula through call of duty vanguard and just because i didn't do super mega research into every game let's just subtract 35 for remakes in different games so 413 minus 35 378 let's just round that up to 380 it's really a lose-lose situation for the developers that do the map designing because if they give us new maps that they try to make and innovate with we hate them because because they just suck because there's nothing they can do that's new and fun but if we get remakes the other half of the community is pissed off because they say the developers are lazy like i said it's a lose-lose situation the developers are just out of ideas for good original map designs because there's just so many maps in call of duty Again, no one likes excuses, but you have to acknowledge the fact that there's been a lot of stuff pumped into Call of Duty and there's not a lot to get out at this point with the new ideas. Next on the list of bad is the spawns, and I think these kind of go hand in hand with the maps because the spawns have been bad since MW19, except for Cold War, that game made a little bit more sense, but that was also on a different engine. And they kind of go hand in hand with the maps because the bad spawns amplify the bad map design and the bad map design really makes bad spawns just more apparent, so. So it's kind of a double-edged sword and the last big complaint i think people have is that the visibility is a little bad in some of the places and honestly i kind of agree with that there are places on the maps that really encourage camping and not moving the way buildings are designed plus how dark some of the corners in those buildings get it's a little cheesy it's a little annoying to deal with but shameless plug i did make a video on how to change your color settings to make things a little bit brighter and maybe a little bit more visible to you so it's my pinned video on my channel go check that out if you're curious on how to change your color settings maybe it'll help you see enemies better and now that we've gotten the bad things out of the way let's talk about the obvious good things first and foremost the movement the movement feels super smooth it's super fluid if you change the settings to be the way that you need them to be you can pretty much do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it that is a good thing that was the one thing I was really worried about during the beta because I'm going to be completely honest. During the beta, I thought the movement felt horrible. They built up the Omni movement to be this super mega awesome thing. And then during the beta, it just felt kind of mid, but I feel like they smoothed it over and it feels way better in the full release. I'm on board with the Omni movement now. I think it just feels fluid. It feels nice. The next thing I'm going to give them credit for is the weapon sandbox and the weapon balancing. I don't think there's any weapon in this game that is above and beyond the best weapon in the game. There are weapons that are definitely better than other ones, and that's just the nature of the beast. That's how video games work. Every game that is a first-person shooter is going to have a meta weapon or a few meta weapons. That's just how the game works. Counter-Strike has the M4, has the AK, and has the AWP. It's just the way the world works things i'll give them extra credit for there aren't a lot of shotguns in the game because if you use shotguns in call of duty shout out to post malone your mom's a hoe and they completely removed the riot shield at least for the time being also a major dub 
piggybacking off of that idea, I do think that some of the lackluster map design does favor the ARs over the SMGs or any other category of weapon, to be honest. Because a lot of maps in this game do have wide open lines of sight with not a lot of cover for SMG players to make plays. It's not as bad as it was last year in MW3, thank God, because that game was unplayable if used anything but an AR. I think most people will agree that Skyline is probably the best all around map in this game. And if you look at the way Skyline is laid out, there's just wide open lanes that you have to run through. And if you're an SMG player, you're probably just not going to get through because the AR players or other people with long range weapons are just posted up on power positions watching the cross because they can just do that. Now let's move into the part of the video where I give feedback on how I think the game could immediately improve if these changes were put into the game. First and foremost, let's bring back some older maps. I know some people are cringing at that thought, but let's be honest, like I said at the beginning, it's better just to bring back old maps that we know will work right now rather than try the new stuff and then be pissed off at the map design is the same as the launch maps going back to black ops 4 let's avoid going back to the black ops 2 maps just because those have been overdone and overplayed let's start with black ops 4 for this one just for a change of pace the maps from bo4 i feel like would work really well in this game are going to be arsenal garrison hacienda and then not gonna lie completely blanked on what this last map was called had to look it up but let's throw seaside in there too and then moving on to cold war for maps i'd bring back from cold war like i said let's avoid going back to bo2 in the earlier games just for right now i'd bring back moscow garrison and then i think the map is called amsterdam it was the one on the rooftops from the dlc that they dropped later in the game in my opinion those maps if they were brought back would diversify the weapon sandbox a little bit more in actual action because the smgs would have more lanes to run around they wouldn't be getting fried at a distance by ars or other weapon types and if they're not going to bring back maps like that at the very least that's how i feel like the maps going forward should be designed again just my opinion comment sections down below let me know what maps you'd bring back I'm sure most of you are probably going to name Raid and Standoff because of course you are, but, but I'm open to hearing whatever anyone has to say. If we're being honest, Black Ops 6 is one of the first Call of Duties in a long time. I don't have a lot of micro complaints about. The game is pretty solid, just needs things that pointed in the right direction pretty quickly before the player base loses interest. Another thing that I have noticed playing the game is that the snipers are kind of wonky. As someone who has their ear to the ground in the competitive scene, the normal public match scene, and the sniper community scene, I hear all the complaints across the board in my opinion if you want to balance the snipers a little bit better this is the way i would do it i would speed up the sprint to fire and aim down sight speeds a little bit and then i would nerf the living hell out of the hip fire to make them unusable up close unless you're actually aiming in and aiming at what you're trying to hit some people might cringe at the thought of having bad hip fire on a sniper but it's a sniper rifle not a shotgun you got to pick your poison if you don't have bad hip fire it's gonna have bad ads times and which one would you rather have so a pretty quick summary on how i would fix the snipers a tldr i'd make them have better ads sprint to fire worse hip fire and then i would change the multipliers to if you're shooting below the torso you're not getting a one shot kill if you're gonna use the high risk high reward weapon you gotta hit the high risk part aka the the high part hit the chest or the head if you want the one shot that's my opinion if you don't like it it doesn't matter what I think because it's not going to change anyway. <laughs> and then another thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video talking about the obvious bad, the connection, that's just something that I've become so used to that I forgot to even talk about it. The pack packet burst is bad. I don't know how to fix it. There are internet gurus out there that swear they know how to fix it. I think they're kind of lying, but if you get your internet optimized, I'm hoping you got what you paid for. I just don't think it should be an issue to begin with, but here we are. Another obvious fix for another obvious problem in the game that I guess I forgot to mention because I was doing broad stroke and now we're getting a little bit more specific is the painfully slow weapon leveling if i'm being honest the slow ass weapon leveling is part of the reason i haven't really had a lot of passion to grind the game because i can play for five hours and actually accomplish nothing and that's not super fun so the solution to that is either give everybody back their weapon xp tokens that you took from us from the previous games that we were all saving for this exact reason or just change the way you earn xp from the base up either way artificially lengthening the time you have to play the game to level up your weapon to artificially lengthen the playtime in general per player is a really dumb way to boost your metrics and the average player and the average business person isn't stupid if they know what's going on so developers please change that if you made a good game people will play the game regardless of how long it takes to level up your weapons just fix it please and then getting into my specific niche of call of duty esports the call of duty league the game is in a weird spot with the weapon meta 
because the map pool's in a weird spot. I feel like if we fix the map pool, the weapon meta gets better. So I don't really have a lot to say on that specifically because if the maps get better, the rest of it gets better. So we just need better maps. And if it wasn't obvious by now, we're only talking about the multiplayer part of this. If you want me to talk about zombies or the campaign, I've played the campaign. I enjoy it. There are things I don't like about it. It's not going to be in this video. And as far as zombies critical feedback, I don't have any because I just don't like zombies. I don't think the game mode is fun. My feedback would be heavily biased and probably not worth shit. But with that said, I don't know how long I've been talking. I think I had 12 or 13 minutes to play with with however long the gameplay was. So this is where I'm going to wrap it up. If there's leftover time, enjoy the rest of the gameplay. If I forgot something you feel like needs to be addressed, comment sections down below because I'm sure I forgot something. I wasn't making a list and trying to go down at bullet point by bullet point. I was just kind of ranting off the top of my head. And to be fair, like I said, I don't think Black Ops 6 has a lot of issues. I think the issues that are in the game are just easily fixed if they choose to fix them. Other than that, thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys have a great day. If you've enjoyed the video, like and comment down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll talk to you whenever the next video may be. Uh, pizza. Good guy.